Hi there, I'm Christopher Dunnigan. This is Handmade in Vermont.com, and today we're talking about the Hubberton Forge outdoor wall sconces called the Henry Dark Sky Friendly. So uh, let's get the Dark Sky Friendly versus Dark Sky Compliant part out of the way. We've done this on other videos for other Dark Sky fixtures. So Dark Sky Compliant versus Dark Sky Friendly. Dark Sky Compliant is a label that is owned by a private corporation that in order for you to use that dark sky label on your lighting fixtures you have to pay that corporation to do that it's the same thing for the better business bureau if you want to have your business get a triple a rating from them you gotta pay for it underwriters labs the ul label same deal so it's really just um, paying for these people to, for the right to be able to use that dark sky compliant now hubberton forge and a lot of other manufacturers have made their lighting dark sky friendly and they've manufactured it to the exact same specifications and standards as if it were going to go through that process for dark sky compliancy. If you are going in front of a, a town board or a homeowners association or any of those kind of things and they're, they're demanding that you do a dark sky compliant fixture and you want to use Hubberton Forge fixtures that are dark sky friendly, we have the backup data and PDFs that we can send to you guys. Just email or call and we can get that out to you. Better to email so I can just send it to you that way. And then you can take this video and you can also take that data and you, it'll help you get through that process with whoever you're working with. So that takes care of that. The difference between this and the other Henry's is there's a secondary shield that's that's up around the socket and it prevents light from going up to the into the air and there's some spaces above the socket that um, are open on the regular Henry's that would allow a little light up there and you can't have any light going up on a dark sky uh, any dark sky fixture friendly or compliant. Okay so moving on let's talk about sizes there's two of these one's a small one the 302711 that one is 10.5 inches high, 9.2 inches wide. Projection out from the wall out is 10.4 inches in diameter. Its big brother is the 302713. That one is 12.9 inches tall, 14.4 inches wide. Projection out 16.8 from the wall out to the end of the fixture. So um, I've talked about what these are made of in other uh, Hubberton Forge videos that I've done. Um, why don't we talk about it again, just so you make sure you know that our Hubberton Forge only uses aircraft grade aluminum to make their outdoor lighting. And the reason they do that is because aluminum holds up better than any other metal outside in extreme weather. When you go to an airport, you see all those jet liners out there. They are all made out of nice shiny aluminum. And the reason they are, it's very light, it's extremely strong and durable, and it doesn't rust or and it holds up beautifully in harsh environments. A lot of those airliners have been in service for 20 or 30 years. They're flying through storms up above 30, 40,000 feet in the air where it's like 20 or 30 degrees below zero. And you can see they look great. And they look great because they're aluminum. On top of that, Hubberton Forge has developed these outdoor coastal finishes. And what those are are oven baked, oven -baked epoxies that form a really hard shell on top of the entire fixture and seal it all up to make it incredibly durable. So and because of that, Hubbardton Forge offers a limited lifetime warranty for residential use. So you're not going to be replacing these down the road. These are going to be with you for your lifetime. They're, they're heirloom quality, seriously. If you go to Hubbardton's site or our site, you're going to see a link to their limited lifetime warranty. It'll walk you through all of that. So why don't we talk about finishes. So if you're on our website, handmadeinvermont.com, there's a finishes help guide. It's midway down on the left-hand side. Give it a click. Watch the video. When you're done, scroll way down and you're going to see a color chart. And that chart's going to show you all the different outdoor coastal finishes you can order this, this product in. And that's going to be the same for all outdoor lighting, just so you know. So after that, why don't we talk about what can go into this. So this is going to be using a medium base socket, which is a traditional porcelain screw-in socket. It's called an A socket, a E26 socket. And the recommended bulb for this is going to be from Hubbardton is actually called a PAR-20. And it's basically a reflector that reflects light in one direction down and it just screws in. However, some of you are going to be looking up into this fixture and may not be wanting to look up at a bulb like this. So rest assured, if you guys want to, you can put in other bulbs. Your limit's going to be 50 watts for the heat generated by an incandescent light bulb. But when you get into LEDs, I think this is like 4 watts and... and this is probably four watts for an LED too. These don't generate heat at all. They're very little heat, so you don't have to worry about that. So these are the new generation of LEDs, the phosphorus ones. 
This one actually I've used in a lot of the Henrys, all the Henrys in our showroom actually, this Edison one, it looks really cool. You, you know, you can get these in like a 60 watt equivalent. You might be able to find a 100 watt equivalent out there in the world. It's just a matter of looking. Um, but rest assured, there's a lot of great light bulbs out there that are LEDs that are going to look great in this fixture. If you want to, you know, get a lot of light focusing down, like if you're going to put this above, like let's say your garage doors and you want a ton of light going down on the ground, then you could... You can do an LED par 20, and this is an LED, um, and it'll work great. Just You can find them online. That's the best place to go. You can also wander in any of those big box stores. They'll have them too, but I tend to like to play around online to find what, the, what you can find as well as the color temperature because um, I'm kind of specifically picky about that. So that kind of takes care of that. So we talked about what these are made out of, the dark sky stuff finishes, what the lamping part of it. When you buy your Hubberton Forge fixtures from HandmadeVermont.com, um, well, lots of things. So shipping is free in every state except Alaska and Hawaii. There's no tax if we ship out of the state of Vermont. We have 90-day returns and no restocking fees, which nobody else has. We have a rush program. So Hubberton Forge, Hubberton Forge's normal lead time is three to four weeks out the door, but we do offer this rush program, and they get you out the door in half the time. It's very inexpensive. It's great when you're doing multiple fixtures of the same thing, like a bunch of Henry's. It's really worth it because it costs practically nothing, and it gets you out the door in half the time. Pushes you into the middle of the list. We'll call it that. Um, and then on top of that, we have these in our showroom to check out. So our showroom's open every day except Sunday, 11 to 6. There's more than 350 Hubberton Forge fixtures spread across two floors. So it's um, worth coming in to see us. Phones are open every day except Sunday from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. Eastern. And you can call and I'll talk to you, 802-446-2400. Answer questions. Uh, we have a clearance center in our showroom, too. And that stuff is 75% off MSRP. Showroom samples, discontinue things, some returns. Um, you can walk right out the door with them. A lot of fun. And I think that covers pretty much everything. Uh, we have these great uh, vacation rentals here. So if you guys want to come to Vermont and check it out, we have uh, small places and big places that are good for families and dogs and kids. And we're near skiing, so you can go skiing and then come check out our showroom, or you can go play in our lakes in the summertime or go hiking in the fall. It's all around us. It's beautiful here. You should check it out. Um, and that's stayinvermont.org. So thanks for stopping in, and we'll talk to you guys soon. Take care. Bye-bye.